Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Air, air temperature comes in at 74 degrees with a dew point at 70. That's a pretty comfortable dew point for this time of year. You know, when you're getting pretty close to that 60 to upper 60s, that's that's nice. And that's what we have. North wind responsible for that coming in at about five and fairly clear skies out there with just some fair weather clouds around. As far as the forecast goes, 74 degrees Wachula, Arcadia at 73, 74 in Punta Gorda and in Northport. Boca Grande at 78 and then 75 in Venice. Double 74 is in Bradenton and in Sarasota and 73 degrees in Parrish. So we have some mid-Atlantic showers, mostly out in Gulf waters. That's part of the circulation of Jose that continues to spin off the mid-Atlantic coast. We get a little bit of showery activity across the extreme eastern sections of the Florida Peninsula. And we get some showers back to the west stretching into the Ohio Valley caused by a frontal boundary there. Now for us, it's unlikely we see much in the way of rainfall anywhere across the state today, except maybe a few that pop up right along the immediate coast. But they'll die out as soon as they make it over land. And locally, morning commute is just perfect. There's no rain showers around anywhere. And the reason for that is some drier air that has moved in. And it's moved in because of a high-pressure ridge back to the west and a low-pressure area, Jose, spinning around off the Atlantic coast. The combination of those two, the flow around both of them, are producing winds that come right in out of the north over the peninsula. And that's drawing down that drier air that's just shut down the Florida rain machine. A frontal boundary to the north is going to kind of keep Jose off the coast, but close enough that there are some hurricane watches up from about the Delmarva on up through New York and into Maine. Um, there could be some coastal erosion here. There could be some certainly some high surf and some swells that uh, create some problems for coastal residents. But for us, the impact of Jose is basically non-existent except for that wind direction. So we get more beautiful days, several of them. We get hot afternoons, but pleasant evenings. Once the sun sets, the temperature should moderate pretty quickly with that dry air in place. So a nice big ridge of high pressure bringing us that northerly wind flow, drawing down that drier air across the peninsula. Now eventually, it'll be replaced with a little bit more moisture, and that will up our rain chances as we head into you know, probably the second half of this work week. So we've got Lee. Lee is a 35 mile an hour storm hanging on to depression status, but will probably just wash away eventually. And then we've got Jose that I just spoke about. And we've got Maria, which bears watching. 90 mile an hour winds right now, likely to become a category three storm with time. Move right through the central Leeward Islands across, or at least close to areas of Puerto Rico and then close to Hispaniola as well before starting to turn north. Now that's a kind of a nerve-wracking forecast, but the computer models are very tightly clustered around this motion up toward the Bahamas, and then a turn to the north pretty quickly, and eventually, hopefully, out into the open waters of the Atlantic, or perhaps the mid-Atlantic. It might get closer there. They have to watch it. But so far, only a few outlier models take it close to the state of Florida, so not too terribly worried about that for our peninsula, but it's certainly one that we'll keep an eye on in case there is any change in direction and we know how things can happen with these hurricanes. So we'll keep an eye on But right now, uh, there's pretty good computer model consensus of a turn out, at least a turn to the north before getting to Florida. Northwest wind at about 15 knots will bring a moderate chop and two foot seas. And the official Suncoast forecast calls for uh, a chance of showers as we head into the end of the week. But for the first half of the week, Ah, first alert weather shows dry skies.